Hello, welcome back to the studio. It's Ed and I'm here with just a little bit of bonus content because do you remember I was at the Wolverhampton Camera Fair and I said that I was going to show you how I shot the Roll of Very Colour 3 film that I got for a fiver. This one here, got it for a fiver, it's 30 years out of date. Uh, C41, really nice colour film for portraits and wedding photography, uh, but very, very, very out of date. So, popped it in the Canon, loaded it up last night in the pub. And I went out this morning around Stockport in very grey, low contrast conditions, which hopefully would suit this film, and shot the 36 exposures, mostly at plus two overexposed. You're supposed to expose an extra stop for every decade a film's out of date. But I went for two decades rather than three, just to be, maybe I thought on the safe side, but is it the safe side? I always sort of think, just do a little bit less than they say. So that's what I've done. Did anything come out? Watch the rest of the video and find out. Okay, so I've got the camera loaded with the uh, film that expired in 1992. And we'll hopefully get a few little shots around Stockport if I uh, don't get hit by some crazy driver in the meantime. Wow, just look at this first one. I've just started scanning and I can't believe they are the cleanest scans that I've ever seen. Just inverting the image by changing the curves. If I do each of them, I just get a completely neutral image out of it. I've never, ever got that out of a negative before. And it's the last thing I would have imagined getting out of expired film. It's astounding. What other consumable could you use 30 years after it went out of date? and still get a good result. Okay, now for the sake of science, I'm gonna bracket an exposure of the mill here. I'm gonna do it at the correct exposure. One stop over, two stop over, three stops over. Using the ISO to get the third stop, I will tell the camera that the film is actually uh, an 80 ASA film rather than a 160. And that actually gives that extra stop. And we'll just see whether it's actually possible to get anything. Well, we already know that it is, but looking at the four shots that I took, top right, box speed, next to it, that's one stop overexposed, next one here, bottom right, two stops overexposed, and bottom left, that's three stops overexposed. Two stops overexposed here was what I normally shot this film at. So if we look at box speed at 200%, there's quite a lot of grain there and it's muddy in the shadows. If we go down to the three stops overexposed, yep, there is no muddiness, but it's maybe a little bit overexposed. It looks a little bit faint. So if we look at one stop over, yep, and two stops over, I think two stops was the sweet spot. So I think, yeah, shooting at two stops over was the right way to go. Okay, so shooting expired film. It's a bit of fun. What do you think? Do you do it regularly? What do you think I could have done better, differently? Uh, any tips and hints would be really gratefully received in the comments. Until next time, please do like, subscribe, share. That would be amazing. 
I'll be back with some more content soon, but until I see you next, have a great one. Bye for now.